lack of care strikes again. I totally derped at another piglin bastion last night. And so today I'm going to do some more enchanting of some new items. This opening you're seeing me trying out some new ideas for hunting for ancient debris as well. I'm jumping in the lava pit to see if there's any debris down here, but uh, as you can see it's kind of sparse. Uh, but I nevertheless soldiered on and, well, I'll show you the spoils of my enchanting and my bastion raiding this episode, because I'm not giving up. That's what the content's going to be, and we're also going to explore some new ideas for builds and other things. Stay tuned. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell and stay tuned for more videos. So here I am in Gil's store, and uh, I promised him that I would try to help him clear out his stock because he's trying to move his shop. And right now his books are the most expensive on the server, or among them, I should say, because apparently a new player, uh, Native John, uh, has started to take over the market for books and uh, brought the price down to one diamond per, which is a welcome change. And of course, Penguin is also doing this. He's got a flash sale going, and so uh, we got to help Gil out because he helped us get a bunch of warped wood the other day. So uh, it would be more than uh, helpful for us to do this, but you know, it's going to be a little expensive because <laughs> I'm going to probably buy all of his unbreaking and hopefully all of his mending books. Do to do. There we go. Ooh. Now, this is very expensive for me, but at least these are all available. I remember a time on the server where you could scarcely get one of these mending books. I'm spending a lot of my diamonds here. <laughs> They're all mine. Extra space extra space okay um now it's time for some odds and ends i think probably gonna want like four of these now some okay now it's probably a good time to buy some cheaper books so the other day gil was telling me about a face near his shop he wants to move his shop again he moved it before let's go check it out oh 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 dear god what is this yeah that's 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 the face it's like double face Oh, that's kind of disconcerting. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> it's not bad, actually. It's very cartoony. Now that's a face. Okay, please don't mind the rain, but oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is Whiskey's uh, Fox Adoption Center. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, phantoms! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There we go. So anyway, I was saying, look at this. You can adopt these little fox buddies. Oh, they're scared. Or they're having fun. I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. We're going to leave this scene. We need to find the other bookshop. Uh, oh, here it is. Ooh, where's the ender chest? Making me go far away to get diamonds. Come on. All right, probably need one of these. Probably need aqua affinity, because we're going to just redo all of the enchants on those things we bought earlier. Buy some projectile protection, feather falling, depth strider. Oh, whoa. He's out. Frostwalker. Fire protection four, blast protection four, sharpness five. Uh, let's just buy like four looting books. <laughs> I already did sweeping edge, okay. Yeah, let's see your fire aspect. Definitely want one of those. Probably need like all four of these smite books. Probably mm, two knockbacks, yeah, that's good. Let's get, a, you know what, all of this fortune. It's mine now. And uh, all the sick touch too. Okay, we are running out of space. All right, I think that's a pretty good start. And now it's back to my base where I'm going to probably make some more books 
and start studying the armor meta a little bit closer because I want to make very specialized armors. Hopefully we can get a turtle shell helmet from somebody. This session of enchanting, I'm doing something a little bit unorthodox. You might give me flack for it if you're a longtime Minecrafter, but I'm making four different sets of armor based on the pro different protections. Protection 4, Projectile Protection 4, Fire Protection 4, and Blast Protection 4 and projectile protection for. So that's actually, is that five different protections or am I just doing math wrong? Uh, we'll figure it out in post. Uh, at any rate, <laughs> so far I've gotten a few of the armor sets ready and I've got some more levels again. I've gone through like 300 levels today already, uh, going to the gold farm at Stone's, uh, Stone's Gold Farm. Anyway, what I am doing now is I'm going to make these specialized suits of armor, and I'm also going to make a water-based special super suit of armor. So basically the idea is that I want to be very mindful about where I'm going and what I'm wearing when I'm going there from now on. I kind of want to play, like, super pro. Like, I have a box for every single kind of, like, setting you could think of. Even, like, an anti-archery outfit, all protection projectile protection for would be really cool uh the idea there would be maybe like if i really wanted to go hardcore in the end and do a lot of raiding i could uh protect myself from the damage of those projectiles it would still give me the uh, levitation boost of course but i would not uh you know derp as easily i said a different word but i'm gonna cut that out <laughs> because you know youtube anyway that's what i'm working on today and I'll get back to you. I guess we'll do like maybe a montage of me working on that in here and uh, talk about my other ambitions. So I have to admit, I'm kind of struggling. I'm struggling between school, between uh, trying to keep up my interests in this and trying to be active and healthy. And the pandemic is kind of like causing COVID fatigue for me. So yeah, that's where we're at. But I'm going to struggle through it, as everybody does, but not without probably seeking some assistance and just trying to get on as I do. Don't ever stop seeking help when you need it. It's actually Mental Health Awareness Day today as I'm recording this, so I think it's probably a good thing to mention. But yeah, I have a lot of big plans for this Minecraft game. I want to expand the Piglin colony more, and later in this episode... I kind of wanted to show you a super, super cool redstone idea that I'm going to borrow from a long time ago that is going to relate to this armor stuff. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Well, even after that little enchanting session, I still didn't have enough levels with like 300. And uh, we still have to get some more enchanting done. So uh, let's go to the end farm. Whoa, look at this. It's pitch dark in here. What? Uh, oh, they must... Oh my gosh. If I... What? Oh, that's scary. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's glass there. Don't worry. Oh my god, that's terrifying. That's awesome. Well, this has changed a little bit. Ooh. Well, you know, the truth is I already knew about all of this, but I figured I would show it to you because our server is just delightful. Especially lately, a lot of people have been contributing to tunnels and making things look really nice. Oh, I see. That's why. Oh my god, that's just so loud. All right, well, I guess I'm I guess I'm going back to the gold farm. There's only five people on still, so. Oops. Oh, I just need, like, one more hit of this sweet, sweet gold farm. Oh, my God, it's not even loading in yet. Look at this colossal. This took, like, 30k obsidian or, or something. Oh, yeah, there is an enchanting area here. Okay. Well, here we go. Look how many subtitles there are. Is that nuts? After several hours of making armors, here's the result. I've got the Nether Explorer's plate. It's fire protection four. It's got thorns on it, and we've got the Grimm's everyday 
outfit, which uh, just has Protection 4 on it. You've got uh, Projectile Protection Anti-Archery suit and the Sapper's suit, which is uh, Blast Protection, you know, for those goblin sappers that <laughs> blow things up. And, of course, this is my... Uh, <laughs> netherite set and my elytra i plan to expand this more but the idea that i mentioned i was going to talk about earlier is to make auto equippers i'm going to set up auto equippers in the cave that i mine diamonds in or i used to mine diamonds in before i started this shop before i build that though i'm going to do some raiding with gil because he wanted to get some ravager heads and i think i'm down to get some totems if he's willing to give me some so i'm gonna go do that and have some fun and i'll put that in the video as well i think for right now we'll start off by uh heading to gil's base it looks like he's on it looks like he's there i saw him there on the dynam map dynamap i don't know whether to say dynam because it is the dynamic map hmm put this away here Zoom, bada bing, bada boom. <clears throat> Lag is the enemy, as always. Oof, we've been having lag issues for a while. <laughs> that was kind of rough right there. Uh oh, I think I'm out of arrows. Why though? Okay, there we go. I want to get a magma cube head again. Those are so cool. I kind of forgot. Is this Gills? This has got to be Gills. Yeah, because this is his... No. No. Who's... Okay. Ah! It's further down. Ow! Mm. That didn't feel good. Is that it up there? I can't tell. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We almost got into some real trouble right there. Well, that's not even labeled, but this must be Gil's place. Wow, nice. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Minotaurs. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, a shield. Well, this is cool. I mean, I like this bridge. Uh-oh. I'm trying to find where Gil went. <laughs> Wait, where did you go? I'm drowning while I type. Okay, let's get back on the land. Oh. Oh, what's down here? Wow, whoa. This is cool. I'm in this giant pit now. Uh, yeah, your pit. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Southeast, okay. There we go, okay. Okay, where am I going? I'm looking for a pillager tower, I think. Oh, this looks like it's probably it. Okay, and scene. <laughs> Let's see here. What do we think would be good against this raid? Well, we don't really want or need to care about losing any items, but we don't really want <laughs> these items to get lost if that's going to even be a chance, if that makes sense. Maybe I'm just a little bit strange right now, but... <laughs> Let's see here. Um, Maybe just straight up protection for... Because nothing can blast us. Or maybe, you know what? What if we went with projectile protection? I think that might have been all I needed. Oh, there's wither roses down there. Neat. That's a really good idea. Oh, probably don't want to ring that bell yet. It's not raid time. You guys are Fletchers. Arrow tosser. <laughs> okay, cool. Ah! <laughs> it's a very neat little, uh... This is nothing I've ever tried or done. Look at him there. Just being on a phone. Well, it looks like, uh, you know, I... I think I just exhibited incredible restraint on not pranking him by, like, enclosing him in cobwebs or something. It's a sign of maturity. Rain doesn't really well. Hell yeah, let's do it. Heal yeah, brother. <laughs> what? 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 Why'd you do that? 
What? We need to kill the bannermen. Where are the bannermen? Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Who's the pillager now? <laughs> That's cool. Getting a lot of achievements this episode. <laughs> what, you, what you gotta do then, sir? What to do? Nice. We got the omen. All right. Well, suppose we're gonna find out what happens over here. <laughs> I switched to replay mod mode to f make it cool, and I almost nearly died. I ran away, and uh, yeah, I'm rejoining the world. <laughs> and I had to TP to uh, Stonecraft Lab, and I'm going to see if I can jump through the end portal to get returned to uh, Gilrain, or I could just fly back to his place. Let's do that. All right. <laughs> We're going back again. Let's try to make it work this time. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Don't... <laughs> Please load. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Do we need another banner man? Or... <laughs> that might be all I can handle. <laughs> but, yeah, screw it. Let's try. LOL. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I thought he was another banner man. When it comes to the rating mechanics, what is it? Two stars and a colon and two stars mean. Maybe we still need more levels? Well, I guess we're ready. Guess I better uh, eat something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a creeper farm, too. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why I angered that enderman. That was a really bad idea. I've got an Enderman after me. <laughs> Not good. Not good at all. Hmm. Where are they coming from? Maybe I can uh, log off for a second and see if the uh, Enderman will de-aggro. Oh, I think that worked. I think that worked. Yep, it worked. Ow, arr, 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 arr. From whence do they come? Who else is remaining? Hmm. Noise. Oh. LOL. Look at them. <laughs> what the heck? What? Yeah, let's really get them. <laughs> We're really gonna get them, guys. I can't even hit them to save my life. Oh, there we go. Sheesh. <laughs> okay. This is going pretty okay. Uh. Uh-oh. Whoa, what was that? What the heck was that? Oh. Uh-oh. It's doing XP damage. 
Oh, man. I need to heal. I need to heal. Oh, I'm almost out of arrows. Shisa. Uh, um, oh, if I hide here for a second, I can eat. Uh-oh. Oh. Wow. Wowza. The heat is on, man. Woof. Oh, needs to... I need to have a breather. <laughs> but this is going to be in the video. <laughs> and you are probably just had an exciting time watching that. So I actually cut a pretty fantastic I a pretty fantastic deal with Gilrain over this. I got an Evoker's Head and five Vex Heads. That's awesome. Some emeralds, some totems. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, and also this arrow from the Fletchers nearby. Well, that was certainly a fun, exciting, and intense episode, wasn't it? Well, uh, that's all I have time for this week. Uh, so I was going to show you here that I was going to build a Bat Cave, a auto equipping station. I wasn't going to be able to get to that this week because I just. I can't, so I'm not going to try. But, uh, also, I just realized that my portals are broken. I tried to have three portals on the roof above my nether base, and it's not going to work. So I have to fix that as well next time and decide where I want my portals to be and everything. So, uh, ah, ah. well, I got to get back to doing schoolwork, getting ahead. Uh, I'll post this video. Uh, you'll be seeing it probably the by, by the end of the week and uh hopefully soon i can show you some other stuff i've been working on uh take care stay safe out there and don't forget to wash your hands wear a mask and be good be good you better be good for goodness sake